Hey everyone, in the news this week, a man died after falling into a giant vat of coffee and the coroner said it was instant. Talking about accidents, there was also a terrible train crash in India that killed 120 people. And I've got a friend who works for the railway in the UK who said there are strict controls in place. I mean, that sort of thing could never happen in Britain. You know, things like the staff all being on strike or managing to find 120 people that can even afford a ticket these days. Also, Philip Schofield's career has continued to go downhill after being kicked off ITV for having an affair with a young member of staff. One magazine said the only place you'll see Philip now is on Dave. I don't know who Dave is, but clearly Philip's moved on rather quickly. There's also renewed talk by senior government officials about COVID maybe not coming from that wet market after all. The FBI have said there's a good possibility that it came from a leak. This is the first time I've heard someone say that COVID started in Wales, although it depressingly wouldn't be the worst policy idea to come about as a result of Mark Drakeford. Also, Harry and Meghan have redefined irony by putting out a press statement saying they're going to stop putting out press statements and books and TV shows because there's apparently nothing left to say. One of the outcomes of that book that he wrote was that there's currently a legal challenge to Prince Harry's US green card due to the fact that the book revealed he lied on that question about whether he'd used drugs before. It's a bit of a family tradition, though. You know, like when his great uncle Edward VIII had to answer that thing in the visa form about whether he'd ever supported the Nazis. Personally, I'm just waiting for them to go back on their word and make an epic three-hour movie about themselves just because it's too good not to use the name Gone with the Windsors. And it's the end of football for the year, where the country finally gets to decide which Manchester team they hate the most. I actually bought a new TV to watch the Premier League next year, but there's no leads in it. Anyway, see you next week. If that needs, click subscribe.